Hello everyone, this is uh, DMV Trumpet Man here and I am here to talk about uh, mouthpiece buzzing and the benefits uh, that it's given me. Uh, one of the benefits is a clearer sound. Uh, another one is establishing what my armature setting is uh, so that I'm not guessing every time how to position my lips when I'm uh, playing uh, the horn. Another one is being able to hear the notes without having to necessarily rely on the instrument. Um, as a trumpet player, you have to be able to anticipate and hear ahead of time before you actually play the note. So this is a routine that allows me to understand uh, the nature of my armature, as well as working on ear training, and as working and as well as working on not relying on the horn as a crutch. So I approach the mouthpiece in this way because it, it teaches me how uh, how to buzz and how to produce a sound, how to get things vibrating. So this is generally one of the first things that I do uh, on a regular basis is uh, buzzing. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, buzz my example. Uh, I'm going to give you a sound check and we can just go back and forth. I'm setting the metronome to uh, 60 beats per minute and I will arpeggiate on the piano and while I'm arpeggiating on the piano, you go ahead and you buzz. And that's just something that we're going to do back and forth. So this is uh, a buzzing, uh, descending, and ascending. Okay? So uh, for those of you who are having armature difficulties and stuff like that, this is a technique that has helped me establish what my setting is. And I believe that if you practice these exercises, it'll help you establish what your armature setting is. So here we go. Uh, let's see.
fizzle out. So that's the first part of the exercise is just ascending our arpeggios on the mouthpiece. You can go as low as you want to go. Um, sometimes there might be uh, situations like you just saw where, you know, either the note fizzles out or it's unclear. Uh, this uh, technique is used to build clarity. So I would advise you to maybe take set aside some time and those notes that are squirrely. Uh, try to figure out where you get your best vibration point in the way that you have to either adjust your armature or, or angle. So, uh, you know, getting into those pedals, I'm actually starting to run out, of, run out of air and starting to fizzle out. So I had to figure out uh, what kind of issues I'm having uh, by trial and error pretty much. Um, and and I'm a believer that if you can play it, if you can buzz it, then you can play it. So a lot of uh, the issues that I've been able to overcome is by spending some time on the mouthpiece uh, doing that. So this is descending. I'm going to come back with another video uh, focused on ascending. So I hope this serves all of you well. Um, if you like it, go ahead and like it. Uh, subscribe to my page for more trumpet content. Um, I'm definitely here to help you achieve your trumpet goals as I achieve my own. So God bless you. Hope you guys are doing well. <laughs>